Biological Iron Removal Oazen is the water company in the green heart of the Netherlands. Every day we turn groundwater into drinking water. The groundwater we pump up naturally contains high concentrations of iron and ammonium. This is due to the peat and clay layers that are located in the subsurface. Iron in drinking water does not taste good and produces stains in the washing and on sanitary facilities. Ammonium in drinking water can be converted to nitrite. We don't want too much of this in our drinking water. Ammonium also results in biological growth in water pipes. This is another thing we want to prevent as much as possible. Oazen purifies the groundwater to remove the excess of these substances. To do so we use a sand filter. This is a large concrete container filled with sand through which groundwater flows. Sand filtration is the first step in our water treatment. We use bacteria to remove the ammonium. These so-called ammonium removers are good bacteria that eat up ammonium. In this way they help purify the groundwater, a process which we call biological treatment. The ammonium removers deal with the ammonium by turning it into nitrate. This takes away the disadvantages of ammonium. Oazen process engineers Harman van der Land and Veren de Vett studied these ammonium removers to better understand precisely how they do their work. In the investigation, Veren found that the ammonium removers were very weak. A DNA test showed that other so-called iron-eating bacteria were to blame. Contrary to established theories, there were a large number of them in the sand filter. So, as with ammonium, it turned out that the removal of iron is also largely a biological process. This explained why the ammonium removers were so weak. The iron-eating bacteria left a lot of rubbish in the sand filter, which we soon had to clean up. This was a problem, as the ammonium removers were just starting to adjust to their new home. Additionally, the iron-eating bacteria claimed all the food, namely the phosphate. This led to starvation of the more modest ammonium removers. That's why Veren and Harman tried to separate both groups of bacteria in their study. Each group was placed in a separate sand filter. And it worked. The result is stronger ammonium removers that have enough phosphate for themselves and can live undisturbed. They are now better able to turn the ammonium into nitrate. After one year of practical investigation, there are also new questions. It seems as if the ammonium removers have another problem, as they are not as active as they should be. Are there other competitors taking the wind out of the ammonium removers' sails? Will we see the same results in groundwater treatment at another location? And can we use biological iron removal at other steps in the treatment process? All in all, studying biological iron removal has provided us with great indicators for improving the treatment process. The aim is to deliver the best, cleanest water to our customers.